I'm starting this bracelet with a button so if you choose to do that you want to make sure that you pull two ends of the cord out long enough to wrap around your wrist one and a half to two times. For a tie on fastening the two cords that you work over will need to be around one foot long. However adjust those measurements according to the size that you need. To get started you want to arrange your cords in order. Your longest cords should be in positions one and four and these should measure approximately half a foot of cord for every inch of bracelet required. This is a four row repeat pattern but I'm going to start with a couple of square knots. If you prefer you can skip this step and go straight to the main part of the pattern. the main part of your pattern for row one you want to take the cord in position number one and work in a hitch knot over the cords in positions two three and four for row two you want to take the cord in position one and work it over the cord in position two again using a hitch knot And then you want to take the cord in position four and work a hitch knot over the cord in position three. And for row three, you want to take the cord in position four and work it in a hitch knot over the cords in one, positions one, two and three. And for row four, you want to repeat what you did for row two. So take the cord in position one and work it in a hitch knot over the cord in position two. And then do a mirror of this, taking the cord in position four and working it in a hitch knot over the cord in position three. And then you want to go back to the beginning and do what you did for row one. And you want to keep repeating these steps all the way down until you've got the bracelet as long as you want it to be.
So once you've got the bracelet as long as you want it to be, if you started with square knots like I did, you want to finish off with the same amount of square knots. And when you finish, you should end up with something that looks like this. So because I began with a button, I finished with a simple button fastening. But you could do the button fastening intended for wider bracelets, if that's your preference. Really, it would work with either. And that is your completed bracelet.